All right, so this data science interview question comes from Facebook. So if you're not on this platform but want to follow along with me, go ahead and click on the link in the description below and that should take you to the Strata Scratch platform. So if you're following along with me, the Facebook question is, what is the overall acceptance rate by date? Order by the latest friend request date to the earliest date. So you're given this question during an interview and you are given this data set schema here where we have the sender, the receiver, the date, and then the action. So if we preview this table as you see here, we have again, sender, the receiver, the date, and then the action sent. So just starting off with this question, um, I am going to assume that every time a sender sends a friend request to the receiver, it's always logged in this table as a sent action. So we know that the denominator of the acceptance rate that we wanna to try to find, we know that the denominator there is sent. And so we also know that the numerator for that rate should be accepted in the action uh, column. So what we're gonna do first is define acceptance rate as number of accepted divided by number of sent requests, right? So the next thing I wanna do is be able to split the number of sent records and then be able to split the number of accepted records and then group them by date. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use a subquery. So I'm gonna split this one table and make it into two tables. So I'm gonna have two subqueries actually. So what I like to do when I'm creating my solution, especially in SQL, is actually work from the tables, for, so the, the from and the join clause, start from there and work myself out. So in order to do that, I can write select and then user ID sender, user ID receiver, date, and then action. So basically the columns of the table from Facebook or FB friend requests where action equals sent, right? So that's the first subquery. And if I run this code, I should get exactly what I'm expecting, all of the sent records. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to copy this subquery, create a new subquery, and instead of sent, I am going to have accepted. So have accepted here. And then uh, what I can do after that, so I know these are my subqueries. I will now work from um, the outer select now down to my from statement and so this is where uh, the subqueries are going to take place right and now what I'm trying to figure out next is what sort of join do I want to implement right so I could use an inner join or a left join or a right join or an outer join in this case we know that we are creating a, a rate or a ratio a percentage so we're gonna have a denominator and we're gonna have uh, a numerator. And what I'm doing with these subqueries here is I'm actually defining the numerator and denominator. And then what I wanna do is actually join them together so that um, I can see all of the acceptances lined up with the cents. So what I really wanna do is actually implement a left join here to preserve all of uh, the friend requests that were not accepted yet. And so, this will be more obvious once I uh, finish this query and show you the underlying data. So now on the keys, all I'm going to do is just line up the sender and the receivers for both tables. Here we're gonna use two keys because we definitely want 
the sender and the receiver to be matched together since that's essentially the primary key, the combination of these two users. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. And so let me run this code to show you what I mean by lining up accepted and sent requests. So here on this left side, I have all of the sent requests, so all friend um, requests. And then on this right side here is all the accepted. And so you can see that there are some null uh, cells here, some null records where we did a left join, but the receiver did not accept the friend request. So that's why you're seeing some blank rows here. So now what we want to do is count up the number of accepted and then count up the number of cents and then group that by the date that we have in this middle column here. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is put the date uh, column first and then I'm going to define uh, the number of accepted and the number of cent. And that should look like this. So the next thing I want to do is turn this entire operation here into a decimal, right? So we're going to actually uh, turn that into a float. So the reason why we have this casting of this count into a float is because we basically have integers with this count of receiver and an integer where we're counting the senders. So an integer divided by an integer is going to remain an integer. So it's just going to give us one if we don't change this integer into a decimal or, or into a float. And so that's what we're doing with this casting operation right here. So once we have that, what I'm going to do now is just rename the column and rename it with. So now we have the date and we have the acceptance rate. And all, all we need now is just a group by. And maybe we'll group by the date. And lastly, we have the order by because the question is asking us to order by date from the latest date to the earliest date. So what I'm going to do here is just type in date descending. And then here I need to actually specify what table I'm taking this date from. And that's probably true here as well. All right, so if I run this line of code, I get the date and then I get the acceptance rate as an actual decimal or as an actual uh, float. And this is exactly what I want. I have acceptance rate by date. And what I took from that one table was I was able to split that one table into a, a table where we captured sents, so friend requests being sent, and we captured friend requests being accepted. And then we joined those two together, preserving the number of sent requests as I'm highlighting here. And so that allowed us to basically do this calculation where we are counting the number of acceptances and then we are counting the number of senders. So that way uh, we can get the acceptance rate. When you are creating the acceptance rate operation here where we are counting the number of acceptances and then dividing that by the number of cents, just make sure that the table you are referring to is the correct table. So this B table here is actually our left join table. So it's the table on our right that is basically capturing the acceptances. So I can really use either the sender or the receiver column here. I chose to use the receiver column. And then for the denominator where we're counting the number of cents, I am using um, the this A table, which is my original table where we're capturing all of the sent requests. So as long as I am referring to the correct table, I should get the correct count when um, I am counting the number of acceptances here and then the number of friend requests being sent here.